Hello guys, it's Ben here from Tunic Music Lessons and welcome to our new series, Classic Riffs, where we're going to be looking at some of history's greatest guitar riffs, dissecting them and showing them off to the world in no time. Now some of my students tell me that they know how to play loads of different songs on the guitar, but when they're put in front of a group of people, their mind goes blank or they feel the songs in over a little bit too long and they can't quite nail all of the sections in the song. So this series is aimed at you guys. We're only going to be looking at short, snappy riffs that you can pull out of the bag uh, when you're under pressure. So today we're going to be looking at the riff in Michael Jackson's Billy Jean that you hear me play at the start of this video. Now this riff is actually originally played on a bass guitar, not the six string, but I do think that it sounds quite good on a guitar. So get your guitar tuned to standard tuning and then we'll be good to go. Okay so firstly we're going to get a third finger with our left hand and we're going to place it on the fourth fret on the D string. Now rather than using the tip of our finger we're actually going to use the flat part, the top of the flat part, okay? Which might feel a bit weird at first because normally we play with the tips of our fingers. So the flat part of your third finger onto the fourth fret on the D string, like that. Then with our right hand, with the plectrum, we're going to down pick the D string. Okay, it's the first note of our riff. After that, we're going to roll our third finger up to the A string, to the fourth fret on the A string. So we're going to go from this flat finger on the 4th fret on the D string, we're going to roll the 3rd finger up. So we're now holding down the 4th fret on the A string with the tip of our finger. Okay, have a close look at that. Roll it up. Okay, from, from, from the D string to the A string, and then we're going to down pick the A string. Like that, okay? Okay, so if you need to pause this video and practice that through, by all means go for it. This is probably the hardest part of the riff. Okay, so once you've got your head around that, we're going to go to the second fret on the D string with our first finger, like that, and then down pick with our right hand, down pick the D string. Okay, then we're going to go to the fourth fret on the D string with our third finger, taking our first finger off and down pick the D string again. So we've got okay, four notes now. Good. Then we're going back to the second fret on the D string with our first finger, taking our third finger off, down picking the D string with our right hand. Okay, that's note number five. Then we're going to the 4th fret on the A string with our 3rd finger, taking our 1st finger off. And then we're going to down pick the A string with our right hand. Okay, so let's put it all together. And we've got the flat finger on the left hand. Roll it up. 2nd fret on the D string. 4th fret on the D string. 2nd fret on the D string. And then 4th fret on the A string. Okay. first finger on the second fret on the A string, we're going to take our third finger off and again we're going to down pick. I'm sure you've noticed by now that all we're doing is down picking, we've got no up picks. Okay. And to finish off we're going to, we're going to go back to the fourth fret on the A string with our third finger. Okay. That is one rotation through. Okay, so overall. Okay, and the beauty of this riff is that you can just loop it over and over again. So remember when you get back to the start, remember to flatten the finger, because that's how we began the riff. So one 
thing that I'm not doing here that I was doing at the start of the video is palm meeting. So palm meeting is when we get this part of our hand here and we lean it on the strings ever so slightly, just over the bridge, onto the strings, and we get a dampened sound like that. Okay? Now if we don't move our hand on far enough, we're not going to notice a difference, it's just going to sound like normal. And if we move our hand on too much, then we're going to get dead notes. So it's about finding that sweet spot just over the bridge and you get that dampened sound. So just try it on open strings to start with. Okay, and when you feel comfortable, move it onto the riff. It'll be more difficult to, to apply it to the riff. Okay, so here's it with palm mute and without palm mute. With palm mute, without palm mute. So you can tell the difference. Palm mute, it's softer. Uh, without palm mute, it's, it's more aggressive. I mean, both of them sound good in their different ways, but I do prefer the palm muted version. So another thing you can have to play around with is your picking pattern with your right hand. So, so far we've just been doing down picks. You can have a play around with alternate picking. So that is where you change your direction if you're picking every note you play. So for example, we could do up, down, 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 up, down. Okay, so changing the direction we pick. I personally quite like just doing the down picks. Whatever works for you, whatever's most comfortable, go with it and run with it. So that is all for this time. Thank you very much for watching this video. I do hope that the riff comes in useful next time you are put on the spot. If you enjoyed watching, please leave us a like, subscribe to our channel and check out what other videos we have out there. If you have the more help learning to play guitar, we do offer face-to-face -face video call lessons to people of all ages and abilities. So check out the information in the description for more about that. Thank you very much and we'll see you next time.